and I'm watching the match. I'm very, very excited to get into this. And I mean, if there was a character that, like, you need speed, you need juggling, Fox is that character. Yep. Uh, but it's going to be scary to go for those uh, up airs to contest um, Terry in the air because if you find those near air airs, you see, like we've been saying, he's going to find conversions off of them. Right, but I feel like because you're Fox with the up airs, like, you should be winning those trades like 90% of the time. Immediately going in for a dash attack into up tilt jab, sending uh, Kless off stage. Right. Yeah, Kless is getting smothered a little bit here, but mixing up his landing there. So I'm not going to say it too loud, but that doesn't have any lag, even when it hits the shield. Because it doesn't, with a full hop, it doesn't like have a slam hitbox. Yeah. You're able to find the punish with jab there. See? Yeah, it's one of those things where like you're so used to Terry's doing it on the ground. Yeah. They're like, yeah, there's a landing hitbox, and yeah, that has a lot of lag. But the aerial hitbox doesn't. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't get the, the like low hit to get the up smash confirm off the down air. Down to, oh, 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 is that okay? it? He wasn't, no. he wasn't okay. Yeah. No. Yeah, he, he, he felt the vibe check. But. Right. I mean, that's just what makes... Oh my god, just barely avoiding that up smash, too. But, oh. yeah. Sometimes Fox is like, okay, I'm gonna, so check how he would be normal get up right there. Using his um, distance, using the corner to uh, change up the way he's approaching with a forward air. Um, very aggressive from ZD, and uh, Quest finding the reversal jab, 28% off of that jab into power dunk. He went for the nair there to find an air to air into a, a conversion. You know, that's the scary thing about finding Terry is that if you get him up to 100%, all of a sudden he has kill options at 40. So, you know, one more hit from Fox, that'll probably Ooh. be it. Oh, he read yes. that! Oh! No. But he still find the, the returning hitbox of the power dunk to keep him relatively okay. safe. Oh, that was definitely death Ooh. right there. But I like now, that now he, Yeah, now he has a go meter. Gets red on He's the roll, living. but yeah, Terry He's is heavy. heavy. Terry's heavy. Oh, he shine spiked him! Yeah, the Shine Spike's going to be able to do it, and now ZD has the lead. I'm surprised he went that deep for that Shine Spike, too. Yeah, he had, he knew he had that double jump to get him back up ver vertically. Up throw, immediate forward air from Class, keeping him away. Lagless, uh, power dunk, but oh, he went for something there, but Rising Tackle is going to be able to take it. Yeah, Fox being light means that you know he's going to die to those combos a little bit earlier than most other characters. And being a space, he's going to get hit with these combos forever. Oh, that's so tricky. Going for that power dunk into the down throw nair, air to air, um, into a burn knuckle. Right, and you know what, for those who don't know, like, usually it's up air into up B, right? But that does a little bit more percent. I believe that if you do the true input of the up B, that's like 33%, and he did almost 40 with that one combo. Just slight variations, but because he's so used to getting that nair burn knuckle, he's able to go for it consistently. Yeah, it's the optimizations of a character. ZD getting very, very aggressive with that up smash read. Trying to read a tech roll in, class not giving to him. And oh, that there we go. Insane. I am so. That was so good. Yeah. <laughs> that That's exactly what I was talking about. When you do not have the Terry information, you're not going to know that that does not have lag on the way down when it lands. And he was able to bait something out with it. Um, ZD probably thought, oh, I have time to normal get up here. But normal get up, up to smash, yeah. Yeah, do something there. But he was able to uh, find the down tilt into the kill. And plus he's going off a, a game a, a versus ZD. And you know that if he didn't get the confirm with that, he got the shield. He probably wouldn't have done like down, down, crack shoot. Yeah. Right? And then he would have been off stage, and you know what? He would have had to deal with an edge guard potentially, but he wouldn't have been up fast yeah. for it. And uh, getting into game number two here, I don't know if we're going to see a stage counter, but town and city, a little bit more room for Fox to work with. Okay. Definitely if he can use those platforms to extend up air combos. Oh, yeah. You have to be very careful about how much range that uh, crack shoot has, but that forward air from the ledge is going to be putting Klesson into a juggle situation here, getting punished for the uh, power wave. Alright, gets the grab. Oh, for the yeah. nair. Yeah, you got DI in on Terry. It's one of the few things where like he has DI throw mix up on down throw. 20% here. Uh, but we see the go meter uh, with Plus. He's able to rack percent off with uh, down tilt into uh, Buster Wolf and kill with Geyser. Oh, I was about to say, you know what? Sometimes you just want to hold shield against Fox. And I mean, like, what's the worst they're going to do? Grab you? But unfortunately, it's shield poked at the very last hit of the down air. Exactly. You need to be very, like, cautious of not jumping away and instead holding your shield and just taking a grab instead. But ZD is all over class on this uh, larger stage. You know, the platforms allow Fox to combo carry even harder. Using the high up B right there to kind of catch Fox trying to go for the fastball nair on the ledge. Fourth throw, sending him off stage. 
Uh, this is where Klesh will find his kills in the ledge trap, but putting himself in the corner with that uh, dash through. Back air, insane back air. Crack shoot into back air. ZD was not ready for that. And, ooh, catches wow. the jump from ledge with the burn knuckle. Yeah, the Arcadian ledge dash not working out there, finding the burn knuckle. You know, I, I would love to see Klesh beat him, just because that would be like another solid upset. Yeah. And Quest definitely has the tools to do it. He has Go Meter on deck here. ZD just racking on percent with the lasers. Not going to be able to kill Terry's very heavy. Ooh, I like that recovery. Makes a fling his momentum, making it very tricky for ZD to go for any sort of edge guard. Crackshoot sending ZD into the corner. Right, I feel like ZD is just not used to Crackshoot spacing. Oh! Oh, oh gets what a conversion. Threat. Yeah. This is scary. Oh! Oh, that fair was going to be a dare. Very good DI, but... Can he find him? Oh, oh, no. That was very good DI finding yeah. DIN. That's lagless. Oh, he had to drop shield. Yeah. He had to drop shield because the power geyser would have came afterwards and broke his shield. And Klesh right. has a stock lead. ZD, potentially his last stock of Winterside and Wave 2 Bulls. Right. And you know what? I feel like even if he hadn't like thought power geyser breaking his shield, he would have gone for it anyways because it shield pokes so easily as well. Exactly. What a scary situation for yeah. both players to be in here. Kles wants to extend the lead here, and ZD is trying to find these landing nares into conversions. Kles is not giving him anything. Oh, Going for the crouch edge guard, our ledge trap there. Oh, oh okay. unfortunately, the jab holding it just a little bit too long. But Kles finding a 47% uh, percent lead um, against ZD here. Good double jump out from ZD, not getting caught with that uh, trick again. Back throw. All right, getting the dare from ledge, getting, crumbling into the fair. Very, no. very good, no drift in. Right. But now in a juggle situation, using the double jump crack shoot to get away. Okay. I love that. You know, you're getting juggled like that. You know, the either option is like go to center stage or like go to ledge, right? And this oh! Oh, oh, is that gonna kill? No. no, not quite enough yet. Right. Uh, ZD still has to recover though in the ledge trap. Oh, he oh. covered it. He's so there good. We go. He's so good. It's over. Yes, it's there over. We go. It's over. Klus takes it. 2-0 over ZD. I, oh Klus, is, Klus is amazing. Oh, it's so nice Dude. seeing him do so oh well here God. tonight. Dude, all ZD. of our SoCal players, it's like, not today. Ra not today.